today I will talk about um, just like a story about three little pigs. Are you ready? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with a mother in a small cottage. Um, their mother said, Now you're too big to live in this small house with me. It's time for you to build your own houses and live by yourself. And I can no longer sustain you. So, the um, three little bees agreed and left their mother house together. At night, they rested under a big banyan tree at night and they started discussing their future plans. Now we have got the chance to prove ourselves. Why don't we take our roots and try our luck? Yes, we can survive on our own strength. The third little pig, which was wiser than the other two, didn't agree with the idea of separation. He knew that anyone could um, to succeed back to his nasty brothers and they could get into some trouble. Brothers, I don't agree with you. Our unity is our strength and we should not break our strength. You always try to preach. We know what to do and what not to do. Yes, now we are not mama's boys to listen to your speech. Okay, I agree. I have an idea which will help us all. Huh? We will build our separate houses and live by ourselves. Nobody will interfere in anyone's business. That's like my brother. That's fire. Wait, wait, I haven't finished yet. We will build our houses nearby so that in case of any trouble, we can help each other. He is right, brother. Okay, okay, I agree, but I don't think I will face any trouble. In the morning, the three little pigs decided the places to build the houses and left to collect the materials for construction. The first little pig said, a house made of straw will be economical and much easier to build. I could buy a cozy bed to sleep with the remaining money. So he approached the farmer. Farmer, farmer, I want to buy these straws to build my new house. Yes, please, you can buy it. And the farmer was so strong to the first little pig. The first little pig went happily to build his house. The second little pig said, A house made of sticks will be economical and much easier to build. I could buy a club. Cozy mattress for sleep. So he approached a woodcutter. And the woodcutter sold sticks for um <coughs> for the second little pig. The second little pig went happily to build his dream house. The third little pig which was wiser than other pigs, decided to build a strong house of bricks. I will build a long lasting house for a secure future. I will sleep on a mat, but I will build a long lasting house for a secure future. So he approached the shop, and the shop sold bricks and cement for him. At the end of the day, they gathered up the construction site and they started building their houses. The first little pig finished building his house by morning. She's just small or to get I am. I build a house much faster than the other two. 
the second little piece said that, um, how could he build a house so fast? In the evening, I will finish building my house too. So he worked harder and harder and completed his thick house by evening. Since the two of the other pigs took less time to build a house, the third little pig didn't ignore them. He was still constructing the base of the house. In the morning when the two brothers came out of the house, they laughed at him. Ha ha, what happened brother? Is there any difficulty in building the house? You should have consulted me before. I'm building the strongest house of all. It will stay strong in all weather, all disasters, and throughout the years. We think we have built a weak house. Yours is the strongest. The, the second little pig the third little pig decided to ignore his brother's comments and focus on his work. Brick by brick, within a week, he built the house. One day, a big bad wolf saw the three pigs and decided to eat them. The, the wolf approached the first little pig's house and knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. So the first little pig said that, I have the strongest house of all. Try it out, nasty wolf. The wolf filled a lung full of air and blew air in the little pig's house. Everything just blew away. With the blow, the pig also flew and rolled into the second little pig's house. And said, um, and the little pig, the second little pig said, uh, what happened? Why did you come rolling into my house? The first, the first little pig sat a hit under a table and shouted, Close the door! Close the door! A ferocious wolf was about to eat me. He might come here and hunt us. Uh -huh. The pig ran to the door and shut it tightly. He locked the door with all the locks. The wolf came to the second little pig's house and knocked on the door and knocked and banged and pushed the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. The first, the second little pig said, My, I have the strongest house of all. Try it out, nasty wolf. The wolf filled a long full of air and blew air in the little pig's house. Everything just blew away. The pigs realized there's no roof on the top. There are no walls on the sides. Both ran to save their lives and entered the third pig's house and, and closed the door tightly and locked it with all the locks too. What happened? Why are you so scared? A ferocious wolf was about to blow our house away with air. He might come here and blow away your house soon. Let's run and go back to mother. He cannot blow even a brick on my house. I'll teach him a lesson. Let him come. Brothers, you hide on the shelf and don't come down. If 
If you succeed, to come in and eat me. The two pigs climbed on the shelf, and then the wolf approached the third little pig's house and knocked and pushed and banged on the door. Go away, you ugly wolf! You can't break through my house ever! You don't know about my strength! A huff and a puff and I'll blow your house down! You cannot blow even a brick of my house. Try, you will lose your breath, but you will not succeed. The wolf filled a lung full of air and blew air on a little pig's house, but house was still. He took a bigger blow and and uh, and blowed the house again. After some more trials, he lost his breath and fell to the ground. But Nasty Wolf stood up again and took a long run to break the door. Brother saw him from the window pane and jumped down. All together, they pushed their backs to the door. Wolf came running with full force and bang! <clears throat> the third little pig slowly opened the door and saw the wolf lying on the ground. And they shut the door again. The wolf has fallen down. He failed to blow my house down. We would have been in a wolf's stomach if you didn't shelter us in your house. Yes, brother, you saved our lives. But brothers, he went and eaten me up if both of you weren't here. We together blocked the door and he failed. That's right, brother, you proved me wrong. Unity is a real strength. Now we can live together safely forever. But suddenly the nasty wolf stood up again and banged on the door. You nasty brothers, I will eat you today anyhow. The wolf climbed on the roof and decided to enter through the chimney. The pigs heard the sound of the footsteps on the roof and understood the wolf's trick. The, the pig fired the fireplace on the roof. The wolf was struggling to reach the chimney and then he succeeds to come down it. And when he comes down, he boom, his bottom. And that's how the end of the story. So now, if you like my videos, make sure to like and subscribe me more and sing about three little pigs with Tommy for more stories about three little pigs. So see you.